great football clubs of today are still clubs that have a sense of community. We came to the somehow understanding that a sporting club is just a sporting club, and it's not. All the guys used to say they loved coming to St George Stadium. It was the envy of every football club in Australia. There was a canteen under the stand where they used to sell this Hungarian delicacy called langosh. It's basically a heart attack in your hand. Now yeah, they're wondering, why, where's Fred? Well, Fred's probably died from a heart attack because he had five langosh last week. I grew up playing for the UV Juniors. Terrible play, terrible play, the worst. See, I think Maltese come in three shades. Pirates, Saints, and maybe there's one in between. I'm in the fourth category. <laughs> of course, sorry. What happened to the rabbits? The rabbits, they died. <laughs> my uncle, my mum travelled a long way to come to Perth. I don't know why Perth, but yeah, they're all, they're everywhere. <laughs> hey, what the hell's going on here, mate? <laughs> mate that's the loudest bit I've ever heard in my life. So th this is the song? Yeah, Thunder. I'd met him a couple of times after I'd met him, I watched him play and I thought, wow, yeah, typical Maltese fashion. Over time I've realised that I did overstep the mark. I'd been arrested on a Thursday. I was playing a grand final on a Saturday. What are our chances for the World Cup as you see them? Excellent, really. You know, we have nothing to fear from anybody. Peter Wilson was the best captain that Australia's ever had. With any Australian footballer, male or female, their journey is unique because of the sport they chose to pursue. That was the best part of my life. So many things and I, I, I was a lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs>